here's a little intro until I get one professionally done. Like, comment, and subscribe to join in on the fun. Today, we are in East Rochester, New York, outside of Hair Zoo, which is behind me somewhere because I need a haircut. <laughs> it's getting out of control. I've talked about in a previous video how I'm trying to um, have my hair naturally curly. Um, my hair's always been straight since I was a kid, so I don't really know how to deal with the new curliness of my hair. So um, I've reached out to you guys. You guys said that um, if I put some layers in my hair, and I remember when I've gotten my hair cut previously that like since my hair's been curly, it curls more once like all the ends are off. I don't plan on taking a lot off. I don't know. I'm walking in there trying to figure out <laughs> how to do this. I don't know. Like I went to the wedding with Jacob a few days ago and um, it, it my hair I, I couldn't get it to do what I wanted I've been trying desperately I haven't I guess I should just I haven't had my hair cut in like I don't think I've had my hair cut since Jacob and I have been dating and that's been almost two years so I'm definitely overdue um, I can get by but it, it needs it needs maintenance it needs something it needs I need a lot of the bulk taken out. So we'll see. You're go you guys are going to see the grand results. So I'm going to head in. Right now I'm in the carpet car because my car is sitting in North Carolina. Um this is why I'm tired. <laughs> I've been trying to like fit this haircut in. I wanted to get it done before the wedding. Um Jacob and I, well I drove from North Carolina south or from New York south. <laughs> Jacob drove from Florida north. I dropped my car off. We headed north to Rochester for the wedding. And then we're heading to Jacob's mom's, which is outside of Chicago, tomorrow. We were actually supposed to leave today, but I'm like, I'm tired. I've driven like 30 hours within like 72 hours. It's like, I'm can we can I just have like a chill day like I need a minute so today is the chill day I'm packing for Thanksgiving at Jacob's mom's I'm getting my hair cut I'm filming this video maybe I should have just um since I'm in Jacob's car I have his hat here maybe I should have just like worn the hat and um forgotten about getting a haircut that would have saved some time right I could have done that but um <laughs> that's a solution just steal the hat and wear that instead of trying to figure out what's going on with the new curls that I have that but a haircut I think that's a better plan since this is Jacob's hat and all and I can't just steal it forever so a haircut is due <laughs> So I'm going to head inside, get the haircut, tell you guys about the wedding because it was super fun. I even got Jacob to do his trademark, <laughs> trademark Jacob dance on the dance floor. So I'm excited to show you guys. I'm going to head inside and hopefully come out with hair that is more manageable and that I enjoy and that I'm not crying <laughs> for the reveal. That would be an interesting video. Like, oh, sorry. Now I'm just crying because now I hate my hair even more. So we'll see. It's going to be an adventure. So I'm going to head inside and the grand reveal is coming. So it's going to be a lot quicker for you guys. I mean, I have to go for the haircut. You're just going to like see it in like two seconds because that'll be the next clip so next I will have new hair it is time for the big reveal I didn't know how to do it so I've panned over this way and now oh, it looks 
so much better. It's insane how much better it looks. I decided to get a blowout because you only have them. Ever. Look how shiny it is. So I have the little side bangs. So with the curly hair, um, I can't have them like straight across anymore since it, oh, fuck, it's so shiny and straight. <laughs> it hasn't been straight in a while. So yeah, now I'll have, I ended up getting like six inches cut off. It's still dramatically long. So the fact that like six inches like barely made a dent, like you can barely tell that like there's a lot of length cut off. But yeah, look, I'm so excited. Now I don't have this just like dead, like I felt like it looked like a mop. Like it literally had like no layers. You can see the layers here. I'm so much happier with this. <laughs> My hair was getting insane, so I knew I needed to do something, and this is it. This is a lot better, so we'll see how the curls go with this. If um, I have issues with just getting the layers, I'm going to seek out a curl expert, and which is a thing I've learned. Like, there's, I'm of course, like everyone in every field has um, specialties, so there's hairdressers that also just deal specifically with curls. So I think that's gonna be the next step down the line if I can't figure it out myself. I've been in like YouTube rabbit holes trying to figure out, um, it's so soft. <laughs> trying to figure out how to deal with curly hair, but I did learn, like I was using this cream and I think it was weighing down my hair too much. So if I use a spray or a lightweight mousse, it may be better to like get the curls going. So yeah. Do you guys like it? I hope so. I hope I'm not like, leave comments to say if you like it. They're like, it's terrible. Why did you do this? <laughs> so maybe be positive. I don't want to like regret the, I mean, regardless, even if anyone says it's terrible, I still love it. So I think it's really good. It's a vast improvement. I definitely should not go like two, three years without getting haircut again. So I told you guys I wanted to talk about the wedding. It was so great. Uh, my friend Marissa and her now husband Eric got married and they're the cutest couple. They're super dorky. They play D&D. &D. They're adorable. Then instead of having a DJ, they had a band from Rochester, which was an emo band. And there were some screamo songs, of course. And it was really funny seeing all the... um the different age ranges like I was all into it I was excited Jacob doesn't really know the more like hardcore music as much as I do so he was just watching like in disbelief like all like the elderly people they're being like what is happening why is there screaming they're screaming at a wedding and but it made me happy because that's what they love like part of their love is going to concerts together and they had their type of music there, not like the usual like chicken dance and like the doo 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 doo. No, that's, is that the chicken? Da, da, da. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it was really fun. Um, I got Jacob to do a dance. I'll put that here, his um, trademark Jacob dance. Um, it was a lot of fun. Jacob cleans up well. He looked very attractive. Um, I had to, oh my goodness. So. I packed the boots I wanted to wear. I had to choose between dresses and some of those were packed. And so I definitely didn't look, like I very rarely have excuses to dress up. So I didn't look as great as I wanted. I didn't have time to get my hair done. Like if my hair would have looked like this for the wedding, I, it, it would have been a lot different. <laughs> I think I would have looked a lot better. I mean, I don't think I look bad by any means. So. Here's some pictures of Jacob and I together. Um, there's also pictures of Marissa and Eric who are the cutest couple alive. I just can't get over how great they are together and just the wedding was amazing. They're just great people. Um, I took them out to dinner or lunch actually uh, a couple weeks ago and they spent like just like a good 10, 20 minutes telling me about their cats and like just great. <laughs> like I feel like I just identify with them so much. Like just they're the cutest thing in the world. And the wedding was amazing. And I was glad that Jacob 
was able to come with me. There's few things that I tell him like, okay, this is happening this day. If you cannot be on the road this day, like we, when we first started dating, we had to go over holidays that um, I wanted him around for and Valentine's Day and our anniversary fall close to each other And I was like, okay when you travel like I want you for either Valentine's Day or our anniversary. I won't like <laughs> Make you be home for both but um, If you could be home for one that would be great But the wedding was also one of those things that I was like, okay, I need you here this date <laughs> So that's why there was the rush for him back up north and it was a lot of fun. I'm glad that he was able to come. And now the rest of the month is filled with craziness. Um, I'm heading west tomorrow for um, to go to Jacob's mom's for the holidays. Um, Jacob and I are gonna film some stuff while we're out there. I personally, I mean, I'll be in his videos, but I don't think that there's gonna be a lot of content between now and the move. Um, I'm going to try to film the move down, but in between, um, it just seems too chaotic. So definitely look for me over on Jacob's channel. He's going to be filming along the way. And yeah, um, moving. <laughs> so we have the week um, at Jacob's mom's and then we come back and I finalize the rest of the stuff. It's funny, like I've, in some ways I've packed too much like I needed computer paper today I realized that I packed the bath mat too soon and I had to pull that out I was cooking last night trying to um, get everything out of the freezer so there's no food waste and I was like did I pack the oven mitts like is that something I did do I have to grab a towel but I didn't and I was actually kind of surprised that I didn't pack them because <laughs> I've I've like packed everything else. I was looking for jewelry to wear to the wedding. I um, have this like standing jewelry box that opens like this. So I had already wrapped the whole thing so it wouldn't open while moving. So I had to unwrap all of that. And now I have to rewrap it again. It, it's been nuts. Um, I've been trying to like live out of a suitcase, um, but of course I forgot stuff. So this, I will be very happy once I am in North Carolina and all of this is over. I don't even mind the unpacking stuff. I think that's kind of fun with the decorating. I just want the drive to be over because um, the U-Haul, I believe is 26 feet and going through all the mountain roads should be an adventure. But um, yeah, and then getting the kitties ready. It, it's gonna be a lot. I am tired. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's almost over and I will be there soon and I will be happy and it's already very cold here in Rochester so I'm excited for the winter in North Carolina. Um, I've said that my new favorite pastime is going to be looking at the weather in Rochester and Buffalo and just being like hooray it is not as terrible here I am very happy and that's the other part with my autoimmune stuff like going in between all these weather patterns I've just been like sick and just like okay we're, we're gonna do it I'm, <laughs> it's gonna be over soon like I'll be able to rest and be in what better weather I almost said um weather bad weather bad I don't know yeah <laughs> video is clearly all over the place and yeah yeah I don't even know where I'm going with it anymore it's just a tangent of moving and trying to figure out everything that's going on but um tonight I'm gonna head back home I actually have to pick up some stuff for the kitties for the move um I have to pick up some computer paper speaking of um packing too much I packed the computer paper already and I um, have a new doctor set up in North Carolina that I'm going to see in December and I was like oh no I need to start filling out the new patient paperwork and you have to download it I thought they were gonna mail it but they said that I have to print it out so I need to um, pick up some computer paper I need to get the kitty medicine and everything and some food I got um, uh, Jacob thinks like the gravy food would be better to mix the medicine in for the move so I'm gonna pick that up it's a lot just getting it all done and um, everything just in working order and seamless so 
Um, I think I've done stressing out. I was definitely stressing out earlier this month just trying to pack everything and get it done. Now I'm more in like the tired phase of like, okay, can we just get this over with? Can we just get the U-Haul so like I can stop living out of boxes and have everything available to me? Like that would be nice. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm also looking forward to decorating for Christmas. This is going to be the latest I've ever decorated. So I kind of want like the tree to be the first thing I unpack when I get there. But I realize that's not practical. I should probably worry about like cookware and things that I need on the day to day instead of having a pretty Christmas tree up. But I do have the reindeer there and he needs the Christmas tree to go with him. And so I'm definitely gonna get the Christmas stuff up, but maybe I shouldn't make it like number one priority. Maybe I should realize like I need clothes. I need toiletries. I need cookware. There are necessities and utilities that you need before you put up a pretty Christmas tree but that's definitely like fourth on the list like it, it may even happen like the day of the move um that I get there so we'll see <gasps> maybe like because the movers are coming the next day and there's a day in between maybe I could put the tree up myself and get it out of the U-Haul and then when the movers come, it'll already be there. And it won't feel bad because I'm like, the rest of the stuff's in the truck. I can set up the Christmas tree. I'll just drag it out myself. Make sure it's like at the end of the truck. Again, I'm not doing well with prioritizing. I realize that it is not number one priority. So I'm going to head back to the house after I do the running around that I talked about. Um, look for me in, in Jacob's videos for the next couple weeks um we'll be traveling together right up until the move and so i hope you will follow along i hope that you will wish me luck in finding everything that i've put into boxes because it's going to be a big mess <laughs> I have to go buy that paper i talked about hopefully nothing else comes about when i pack tonight for um uh, to go to Jacob's mom's that I'm like, oh, okay, I have to dig through boxes for this too because I already packed it. <laughs> so thank you for watching. I have a cameo. I have a Patreon. I have social media. I am around. So thank you for watching. I guess that's it. I'm going to go do stuff, get dinner. Yeah. <laughs>